Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today let's model this. Okay, so let's do it. Um, first, I uh, let's let's create a generic model adaptive, and we're going to model that one. Uh, sorry, wrong one. Um, one of these. Okay, so let's place one point and make it adaptive. So I'm going to just copy it. Now we have two adaptive points. Okay, so select these two, create a spline, make it reference line. So what we need to do now is we need to place a point, draw on face, place it on this face, and reference a uh, rectangle, draw on word plan, set word plan, pick this uh, word plan, and draw a rectangle. So now, set word plan. So make sure you, you still uh, pick this word plan on uh, this point, do a dimension. Dimension from this one of the reference line to the point, and another reference, reference line to this point. So repeat, and another one. So now we select these two. So these two will be, let's create a parameter. Let's call it W1. Um, it can be instance. Okay, so, and select these two and W2 instance. Okay, so now select everything. So dimension, reference, align, and at this point, CC, copy, and select this point, pick new host. So what we going to do now is uh, we need to drag this point to this end, okay? And then this one. So see this uh, this uh, arrows. So click it. So so which means this arrow. Um, so beginning as, as if you go here. So measure from this end. Okay, so and then change this, change this to a uh, segment length. So which means the distance between this point, so point two, to this point is currently is 914.6. So because this uh, is going to be one of these uh, steps, so what I'm going to do is I'll just create a parameter for this one. I'll call it uh, maybe th thickness, and I'll, I'll I'll just use type. Okay, so and for this thickness, so I'll just type in 180 for example, and apply and OK. So now this so if I create a form, the thickness of this will always be 180. Okay, so doesn't matter uh, where your point one or point two is. So for example, you can just you can move them anywhere. So the thickness of this uh, form will always be 180. So I think that's okay. So this is it, and then the next step is we want it to be able to um, rotate. Okay, so we so we're going to uh, let me just hh this adaptive point so we can pick this point so this this point is the point we place the profile okay so select this point and also select this point and then here the rotation angle let's create a rotation angle i'll call it um angle one a1 okay so it will be instance and okay and okay so um, of course, we're not going to manually adjust the rotation angle. So what we're going to do is we're going to use um, use a reporting parameter to control this rotation angle. So let me just HR to show the uh, 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 adaptive point two. And then what we're going to do is uh, let me just select this adaptive point two, adaptive point one, and that uh, this reference uh, la re reference line, HI. Okay, so now set word plan, pick uh, any word plan on, on this reference line, 
D, oops, sorry, DI dimension. So make sure you pick the adaptive points. So this is a dimension, and then we can create a reporting parameter. Let's, I'll just call it RP instance and check this reporting parameter and OK. So now we're going to use this reporting parameter to control the dimension, oh sorry, the rotation. So HR, so we can see this form, and then we just need to do this. So because we already have this angle A, and of course you can't, to be able to um, adjust the, that, uh, hang on, let me think. Uh, let me think. We need, we have this thickness. Okay, so we need another angle parameter. Um, okay, so we need another base. I think angle parameter for the base because we can't just uh, uh, calculate and create this angle parameter because uh, we need an angle parameter times a number parameter and become another angle parameter. So we need, um, I'll just call it a, let's call it A2. Okay, so angle, angle uh, parameter. So angle instance. So this is A2 is the one we're going to control it. So, so for example, I'll just type in three. Okay, and then we need a formula in this A1. Okay, so we need a formula in this A1. So uh, it will be RP divided by the, um, I think divided by the thickness, divided by the thickness. So it will be RP divided by thickness. So and then uh, maybe we don't need a bracket, just times A2. So this will give us an angular parameter. Okay, so. Um, if I if I click apply and you will see this this form it rotate uh, by 16.49 degree and also if I drag this point so you will see it will uh, here let me just can you oh hell it's very it's tiny the can you see, can you tell the, it's it's actually rotating. So if I change this angle, so for example, I'll change it to 10 degrees. So, yeah, so now it should be easier. It should be a bit easier to tell. Yeah, right? Okay, so then that's it. So I think this is, this is it, the adaptive family. The next step is, um, I'm going to just create a, a mass. Okay, so I'll use this. Uh, okay, so place one point and um, place another point. Draw on word plan. Set a word plan. So pick the horizontal word plan on this point and place it on the point. And then select the point. So you can type in uh, a height. So for example, 15 meters. And then select these two points create a spline, make it reference line. And then use the divide path and then change the layout from fixed number to fixed dis distance. So here in distance, we can just change it to the thickness of this, uh, uh, the steps. Okay, so um, let's have a look of the number. So. It's, Yep, so start from here, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'll just select this, uh, this is divided path in HI, so to make sure it's only showing the nodes here, okay? So now go back to this uh, adaptive family. So I'm going to just load this into here and then place on face and place it, it's the first one, okay? So one and the two. So I'm going to HH, uh, HH this uh, adaptive family and create another one. So this one st still start from the first point, but finish at the third point. 
Okay, so now HR. So select these two. So we can change the the size of these uh, these two uh, uh, steps. Okay, so for example, I'll type in maybe uh, 24, 2.4 meter, maybe uh, 500, maybe. So yeah, that's that's roughly it. So if you change the the width, um, sorry, the depths. Yeah, I think it's okay. So let's have a look. So if I set our plan and roughly, so you can draw a line to roughly get, yeah, I think it's okay. But yeah, don't worry about that part. But yeah, I don't think it complies. <laughs> but um, anyway, so, okay. So I think these, is it if we wanted to adjust the size you can adjust this so the angle a2 so you will see if i type in zero so they will you know there will be no uh, depths five increase a little bit uh, 10 okay so uh, 30 uh, that's too much so 10 and that's it and then just use this repeat and wait for a few seconds and that's it um, not sure about that one but just let's just ignore it okay so let's hide it <laughs> so yeah and then you, you can still adjust uh, them so you can so if you select any of this uh, repeater so click on them you can use edit type to adjust the type parameter so for example the thickness okay so you can also tab select individual one but because this one is in the repeater so which means if you adjust them so for example if i adjust the length of this one it will change all the instance parameter in this repeater so you, you will see half of these steps becomes three meter so and the other so one is here so tab select so you will see still to two four to the four hundred and if i change this to three meter and then that's it so the whole stairs become three meter overall okay so now you can also so if select one of them and the sa select all and then this time if we change of course you select every all these uh, steps so if we change one it will change all so if i change this to five degrees so for example okay change it back to 10 degree okay so in the, of course if you you can still adjust the overall height so for example you can go up and go down oops let's control z um go down yeah go down oh yeah i think um sometimes it happens um not sure <laughs> yeah maybe ah uh, i don't know i don't know what uh this shouldn't happen so if you increase the height it's okay it looks like no problem but reduce once you reduce ah uh, still okay still okay ah uh. Anyway, so if it breaks, if you need to re reduce the height, you just need to place two of them and then repeat to the repeat. Okay. So, and also if you want to adjust individual, so for example, if, uh, if I go back to here, so you will see this, the size here is different. So that's still okay. So you can select. So currently we have two repeater here. So one and two. So you can just re remove the repeater and then they becomes individual uh, adaptive family so and also i know i i believe you can do it 
without issue now. So if I remove, yep, all good, all right? So let me just control Z, go back. And so now you can adjust them individually. So for example, I change this one to three, two, change this to three, four, change this to three, six, change this to three, eight, no problem. And then, um, yeah, so you can do whatever uh, um, change to each one. It won't affect any uh, other instance. Okay, so um, yeah, maybe you can delete it. <laughs> um, that's it. So if you have any question, please let me know. Um, um, yeah, I will, I will upload this one. So it's very, it's quite simple. Uh, um, okay, so that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.